I want to talk about my lupus diagnosis. Yes, I was finally completely, completely aphasia, can't think of the word, positively diagnosed, no question about it, with lupus. Honestly, I am not surprised. I got a lot of blood work done a little while ago. A lot of it pointed towards lupus. My symptoms all pointed towards lupus, even though like all the symptoms of lupus with like joint pain and, and headaches and fatigue, those are all Lyme disease symptoms too. But it was just different for me. Like it all came and like flared and I had like the lupus butterfly rash that you get like a splotchy rash sometimes. You can get it on other parts of your body too. I've never had that. Um, and extreme thirst I've had for years and just some days I just sleep all day. So I went to rheumatology because we wanted to confirm the suspected diagnosis that I have lupus and um, did some tests like he did this with my fingers and said like, oh, I'm hypermobile and he pulled my leg like I was laying down and he pulled my leg up forward like this and he's like, oh, you're flexible. And I'm like, well, dancer, gymnastics coach, like gonna be a little more flexible than the average person and how, you know, my arms and legs are hyperextended, but didn't go into anything else like EDS being a connected tissue disorder, which I knew I didn't have EDS type one. It didn't really make sense, but lupus did make sense. The thing that's good about this is I'm actually already on medication that is very common for lupus. I honestly forget what the reason was that I'm on it because it's hard to keep track of anything or of everything. So I don't remember why I was put on it in the first place, but I remember like my doctors being like, well, if it's lupus, you're actually already on the medication that most people are on and also IVIG um, helping your immune system try not to attack itself which is what it is doing with lupus um, being an autoimmune disease and for IVIG also trying to help my CIBP which is my chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy um, the IVIG should be helping my symptoms of lupus, but not the disease itself. Um, there's also a history of autoimmune disease, some in my family um, on my mother's side. I really don't know anything about my father's side because they never share anything. So it's just unknown, but trying to think of what other things he did with me. He like looked at my fingers like I said, oh yeah, I do have Raynaud's syndrome. And I guess that was another thing that's you know common with lupus, but it really didn't show up that much on my fingers, like them being purple or white. But I said that it's worse with my feet. And he asked if I didn't do well in the heat and don't tolerate the heat. And I was like, the heat, I love the sun. I love the heat. I said, the cold, that's bad. I don't like the cold. That bothers my nerves more. That bothers my pain more in general. So we talked through it all. He went through all the blood work and explained, this test stands for this, 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 and it means this in your body, and it's showing this. So he was very thorough and I really liked that. Uh, we had to go through all my medical history starting from age 12. I'm 23, so that's a lot. We didn't talk about Lyme disease much because you never know how they're gonna react to that. Um, he just said post, um, he said like, oh, some symptoms like you having like after being treated for Lyme. And while I was, I mean, I have had treatment for Lyme. It doesn't mean I'm done with treatment and I'm still having symptoms, but he didn't say like, oh, it's not chronic Lyme or, only acute Lyme and you're better now or it was kind of 
we're very lightly talked about and then going on to the next things. Um, I was worried that with all my diagnoses, it kind of be like, like some people are just like, you have so many diagnoses, like what's up with that one? Do you have anxiety and depression? And even if I had anxiety and depression, that doesn't change that I have all these real physical um, illnesses but I don't have anxiety or depression, so it's like, but it really proved it on the blood work. And um, he also like touched certain parts, like my joints, I can't, they're like trigger spots, like down my hips and like pushing on my knees. He said my thyroid was enlarged and I was like, really? Like, I don't see anything, like it was, and that my lymph nodes were, um, what's it called? Um, what's it called? You have enlarged like lymph nodes and, and I'm like, really? And like, I don't know how he felt that. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. I have to go back to the endocrinologist for the thyroid thing, which also runs in my family a little bit, the Hashimoto's thyroiditis, so. Having a family history also helped. Um, but he, he was very thorough, went through all the things that happened. He, after we talked about all the neurological things and my vision and, you know, my nerve pain and just things like that, he said, you know, you have lupus, but that doesn't mean that lupus is causing all your problems which I knew and I'm like, well, that makes perfect sense. I know lupus isn't causing the seizures. I know Lyme and Bartonella and all different things like mold toxicity in the past, which hopefully is better because I was doing a lot of treatment for that. And he said I had these two weird like low levels. I wish I remember what they were called. That makes my body not able to like my immune system not to work as well i wish i could explain that better but i really can't that like your body just like is like i don't know what to do well, it made a lot more sense in the appointment but i'm really not it's not like oh i'm so sad like no i don't want another diagnosis i'm not wanting more things i don't want to make the list longer but I kind of assumed this one just because of the blood work was really pointing that way and the symptoms, dry mouth, being so thirsty, like that's finally explained. I've had that for years and I'm already like on a treatment for it. So I was kind of expecting it. If it wasn't, then it would just add to more confusion in trying to find a diagnosis. This one really makes sense. So it was actually a lot easier and that he was nice and didn't say anything degrading. Um, that was my day. And that was basically my diagnosis after getting blood work and tracking my symptoms and finally getting to bring it to a specialist to go through everything so we didn't misdiagnose it, but we didn't. <laughs> My doctors were right and that is just something we're gonna keep monitoring and seeing how I do and how my symptoms are and how I am on the medication.